Right, you all had a little play on either your iPhone or your Android and done the challenge. Yep, great. Who doesn't like it? Always going to be one. What I want to do here is just walk you through the logic a little bit and let you to keep challenging each other and have a bit of fun and really get to grips with the challenge. The challenge is about you predicting that an event is going to occur. The event occurs or not, and whoever wins gets their contribution to, their, to the fundraising campaign paid by the other party to the challenge. So here's a classic example. You're at the, you're at the soccer on the weekend, and you challenge your friend Liverpool to beat Arsenal two goals to one on Saturday. You're the challenger. You pick your campaign. So any funds raised from the challenge go to that fundraising campaign. If you kick it off, you issue the challenge, such as we've outlined above, but it could be whatever you like. The Brad Pitt will win the Oscar. The Washington Redskins over the Boston Red Sox. You name it. And because you issued the challenge, you have to enter the result. You challenge your friend. Your friend accepts the challenge. By accepting the challenge, you believe that the contrary is going to occur. So, for example, if Liverpool is to beat Arsenal by 2-1 to one on Saturday, me, as the issuer of the challenge, believes that will occur. By accepting the challenge, I think that there will be a different result. It doesn't matter what the result is. As long as Liverpool doesn't beat Arsenal 2-1, to one, you, the recipient of the challenge, will win the challenge. You, the issuer of the challenge, will win the challenge as long as Liverpool beats Arsenal 2-1. to one. Now, the winner of the challenge receives their contribution to the fundraising campaign elected by the person issuing the challenge. And it's all automated, taking place from your online funds account. I know that bit sounded a little bit complicated, but let's go over it again. You pick your campaign, you issue the challenge, you think that an event will occur, you enter the result. Your friend accepts the challenge and they don't care what the result is as long as the event doesn't pan out, they win and the contribution goes to your fundraising campaign. Now, you can do the challenge on text. When the challenge plays out, the cost of texting is free to those involved in the challenge. Yep, so you as a volunteer for once are going to get your expenses paid for. Does that often happen? I see you're smiling over there and you're nodding over there. If the challenge doesn't pan out, then you sorry, you do incur the cost of the texting. From an organization's point of view, this is just money coming into your bank account. All you need to do is encourage your supporters to challenge each other. All costs come from your online funds account, and because it's in your online funds account, you can query online and it lists every challenge that you've done, every text message, every text message refunded. You get all of this in your PDF statement. Oh, and by the way, just to fulfill our obligations to you around transparency, you get an invoice on all your texting and you get a statement on every texting message. All straightforward? Go challenge each other. Thank you.